Hey guys, uh, we're the team from the Cook Islands. My name is Arnold Tism, I'm an IT consultant, and this is Zamana Hs. I am a IT developer. And this is our submission for the Pacific Hackathon. What was your approach to this hackathon? Basically, we were listening to the Piango guys uh, talk about some of the issues they're facing, and then we focused on what the problems were. The biggest issues that came out from that discussion on uh, doing it on Zoom was um, that the submissions were coming from different places like email, uh, messenger, like all these different channels and it was difficult for them to track and keep a, uh, a track of all those submissions that were coming in. Yeah. Um, so that was the first big issue that we identified. Yeah. The second one was uh, once they put the submissions together, made sense of it and then took it up to the international forums, it was difficult to track what happened after that. Like once decisions were made, yeah. it was difficult, like what happened, like they, they kind of like lost, lost track of all the decisions that were made um, and whoever was responsible for implementing those things, there was no way to track that. So that informed how we went about the implementation. Um, they asked that as our northern star, because basically what you want to do is design and build a system that will actually solve those big problems. Cool. Excellent. So you're going to take us through the system? Yep. We'll jump in and have a look at the system. Excellent. This is the magic. This is the landing page for Civic Hub, which is the prototype that we've been working on. Got a couple of features here and I'll quickly go through them. First feature is uh, submissions. Submissions let people submit uh, proposals or like position papers to Piango and other NGOs. It's publicly available, so you can look at all the submissions, but to be able to create or log a submission, you have to be logged onto the system. Uh, once all the submissions come in, it gets uh, stored in the database, and then uh, people are able to make comments and also cast votes either for or against the, the submissions that have been made. And then I guess that all gets worked internally. <coughs> once it's agreed upon, then the status of the submissions will be changed from uh, pending to approved um, and then it goes to whichever decision making forum to to get ratified uh, for implementation all that ratification and stuff happens externally from the system but once that does go through whichever decision making forum it's at um, then we can kick start the monitoring process so we've got a, a tracking system for each of the submissions that come through mm -hmm. what happens after the decision has been made uh, there's uh, four different um, outcomes for monitoring so all the submissions when they're approved they can be tracked by the by whoever's managing this platform so we've got four stages pending which means it's still pending um, a decision mm -hmm. in progress which means the implementation is in progress completed which means yep the implementation is completed and it was successful and then on hold maybe there was something that came up so that uh, the system is on hold take us through it mate Take it. Okay, cool. So I'll just quickly look at the view submissions. So here's what <clears throat> the public will be able to see. As you can see, these are all the submissions that came in. These are all the comments that were made. And on the side here, you can see these little bubbles that, that tells you how many comments, votes, or monitoring things were, were done. So comments over here, it says three comments. So we've got three comments here. And people can add, if they're logged in, more comments on the submission. Got votes. People can cast votes on the system. If they're logged in, at the moment I'm logged out so I won't be able to do that. Um, and then they can see a breakdown of the votes in a pie chart. So over here you can see there are two votes and one was for and the other one was against. So that's the voting, comments we've already seen, monitoring. This kicks in when the they're trying to track what's the progress of the submission, yeah. like when the decision has been made. So you can see there are three things that were implemented. Um, we've also got organizations, who's responsible for doing what. So I've just put them in a couple of examples there. Creating a submission. Let's create one. Okay, I don't have permission. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to log in. This is what the system looks like when you're logged in. So we'll start off with the submission process. This is the form for filling it in. Let's just do something like uh, deforestation of Russian plan of action. Let's just do something like that. Categories are basically like folders. They help you organize all the submissions. The status is always defaulting to pending. Um, that just means it's pending approval after the discussions and the votes have been had. Let's just put in a description of the uh, submission. Um, tags, these are from the SDGs and basically people can tag which SDG that the submission falls into. Um, that's useful for our reporting. So I'm just gonna say on land, I think it is. And let's say something around sustainable cities and communities. These are categories identified by the SDGs. SDGs. They just um, help you organize and tag. So you can have multiple tags here for categories. It's just one category, so I'll Both just do. Three. You can also upload uh, documents and reports so that people can uh, review them. 
so I'll just pick a random one. And you can also upload a cover, a cover page, like an image to go with it. That's optional. Um, you can upload multiple files. Word docs. Word docs, Excel. Excel, whatever you need as part of the submission to make your case. And then this is basically the submission. If you click on the magnifying glass, you'll be able to see all the submission that was made. Deep, yep. Yeah, details. Um, also, if you're logged into the system, you can also see all your submissions and then you can edit them. Makes upload sense? Files, yep. And upload files and stuff like that. All right, successfully uploaded. If you've got a PDF, it'll be previewed. How good is that? That is this uh, My Profile inside here. If you click inside the My Profile, My Submissions, you'll, you'll have a look at all of your previous submissions. Uh, my Details is just your user profile, so you can edit that, change your password, upload a photo of yourself, etc, etc. My Submissions just helps you manage all your previous submissions to the system. Over here you can see that I've put in one, two, three, four, four different submissions. I can delete, edit, do what I want. Whereas this Submissions over here shows you all the submissions that, that have been done by other mm -hmm. people. All right, so let's have a look at the comments section. Now I'm gonna go into my submissions. Over here, if you click add in the comment section, you can write a comment. I love this uh, submission, add, and so on and so forth. Your cool. comments get added to the, to, yep. this, to the submission. Take us through the voting system. Okay, so he, the voting system. So here are the votes. Each submission has a bunch of votes. Uh, these little buttons tell you how many votes were done. Uh, when you click in there, you'll see all the votes that were for or against. You can cast a vote uh, by going here and then picking four. I've already voted, so if I try to vote, it'll give me an error. Oh, okay. So one vote for, per, user. per user. You can delete your vote, edit your vote, but you can't mess around with anyone else's votes. There's one more part in the voting, uh, a voting chart, and that just shows you the breakdown in a little pipe diagram for for and against uh, over here you can see there are two votes cast one for and one against mm -hmm. as more people make votes this will all get tallied up and then the the pie chart will change tell us about the monitoring okay Mon the monitoring system is the most critical component <laughs> we are losing it it's been too long oh god <laughs> So here's the monitoring uh, component. This is just to track the outcomes of the decisions that were made. So we've got four different stages here. The monitoring hasn't started. Monitoring is in progress. Monitoring has been completed, which means the, the thing that needed to be implemented was completed. If something's on hold, it's been delayed or something like that. Um, you can also put in a brief description about what's being monitored and what kind of decisions were made. In this, we've also got a place for the organizations that were that are responsible for the implementation and you can add additional organizations if you want choose the country and whether they're a government international government organization other an ngo or a civil society organization or a crop a regional crop like spc ffa usp that kind of thing um, and then we've got a start date of when the monitoring started and then when it finished or when the implementation finished and any reports for the monitoring or Implementation can be uploaded as well. We've got a space for that. So once that's done, you can save it. The monitoring will have multiple things that need to be tracked so um, people can add all that. In. So this last part is the administrator system. So this is for anyone who's administrating the system. They can set a bunch of privileges and all that stuff. So I'm just gonna log in as the administrator. And in here, you have access to the full systems under settings. These are all the categories. You can add or remove various categories depending on what you want to do. I can add more, more categories like that. We also have countries. I've got most of the Pacific Island countries here. I've, I've also got a regional country and this is being used inside the organizations. All those tags that we saw inside the submission forms, that comes from this part over here and this is pulled from the SDGs. Cool. These can all be edited and added to and then roles and permissions. This is where all the permissions of the various user groups can be done. So these are all the these are all the users that belong to the group. So under civil society organizations, I've got like three different users. And then if you click on this little button here, you can go in and you can set all the permissions to each of the tables or each of the, the views that were out. So they're basically add a copy, delete, edit, list, look up, view, search, import, or admin. Um, so here's the here are the privileges that we set up for the civil society organization. And once you've set those, you can update it uh, based on what your needs are. So we just took a, a rough guess of what the privileges might be for civil society organizations. You can also do those for government organizations, crop agencies, 
and uh, citizens. A default at the moment is when someone signs, signs up, they are automatically assigned into the civil society organization. But that can also be changed so that it defaults to like a public thing or whatever. Um, and that's the user levels. That's the administrator settings. All those features of the system get set in the settings area. That's it. Hey guys, um, so one of the last features that we tried to implement but we ran out of time was uh, try to create a discussion forum because uh, the comment section was kind of basic, a little bit too basic. So we've got this little discussions tab up here. We never uh, actually ended up completing it. Um, this was something that Mana was working on, uh, but I'll just quickly go into it just to see what we were thinking of doing. So here we've got all the categories that are pulled in from the submission system. Um, and what people could do is they could uh, start up discussions on, on various uh, topics or various submissions that were um, sent in. So I could do replies like, hey, that's not great. Something like that, post a reply. Um, and then we could also uh, start discussions as well. Okay, new. Um, put it in a category, things like that. Um, but unfortunately, as I said, we ran out of time, so we weren't able to fully integrate that with our submission system. Um, if we had more time, that's probably something that we'd work on.